Warning, this guide contains weeb content and is rated PG. Viewer discretion is advised. Nick, give him your wallet. What for? He's got a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. The Centurion 5 1 Royal Australian Armoured Corps is a premium Australian tier 8 medium tank that is essentially the epitome of a good Centurion. It is the result of Australia thinking that the Centurion Mark 1 is too boring as fuck. So they decided to make it better by mad maximuming the absolute shit out of it. Despite the the gun and 90% of the tank being a literal copy and paste from the Centurion Mark 1. This thing is essentially a stock Centurion 7 1 with a top engine and stock gun. And unlike most British tanks, the gun isn't lubricated with tea. Instead, the Centurion 5 1 is lubricated with Vegemite to make it able to withstand the Australian heat. Although the armor remains the same, it's been reinforced to the point where even German and Russian heavies become jealous as fuck. The Centurion 5 1 also has an engine. That makes it go as fast as kangaroos hopping from Perth to Sydney. This Centurion variant is a tank that CUNY Sammer dreams of in the night, and a tank that Darjeeling would want to have at tier 8. You probably know already how I fucking love Centurion tanks. It's about fucking time Wargaming finally released it. And no, I won't say that this is another poor way of Wargaming to make a tank get redesigned and call it premium. This is fucking different. You have a tier 9 tank at tier 8, which is so fucking good. By making the Centurion Australia. This has reflected on the fact that anything Australian, except for cunts, is awesome. Since the invention of Vegemite, and Zach Biscuits, Tim Tams, Australian Beef, Digeridus, Boomerangs, or literally anything that has a tag of product of Australia, except for that crappy beer, the Centurion 5-1. Much like every Centurion in the game, cannot lead an assault. But unlike tanks of the same tier, you get a gun that has better DPM all thanks to Vegemite and Anzac Biscuits. While you don't have a gun that spams hash and trolls people for 400 HP, the Centurion 5 1 gets a gun that fires as fast as how many times Australia replaced its Prime Minister for the past 10 years. Some people think that the Centurion is a sniper tank, so you stay in the back and snipe for 1000 meters. But they are fucking stupid. To be able to play the Centurion, you must hold your ground like the Australians were during the Battle of Tobruk. Thanks to its solid hull armor and turret, you can finally be able to hold a line and troll enemy shots like hell. And you don't even have to worry about your cute anime Australian wife is getting hurt. Because if World of Tanks Blitz is an anime, the Centurion 5 1 is gonna be that one harem protagonist that protects his cute wife as much like how every Australian would defend their ground. The Centurion 5 1 also comes with a sexy box on the back of the hull. Apparently, this thing is a chunk of space armor, so you can use this to literally troll shitlords to screwing up their shot and cry while being pew pewed to death. And in certain situations, you can even be able to outplay against two stupid shitty idiots who are clueless to take you on. The Centurion 5 1 has enough armor to hold your ground. Because as history will say, the Anzacs prevail against overwhelming numbers like in Tobruk and in Long Tan. As a result, you embody the Anzac spirit. So you never run away in this thing. Unless your team is too stupid to help you, then you fucking run. To play the Centurion 5 1, you get armor, protected modules and improved optics. Next you get enhanced gun laying drive, improved assembly and improved control. Next you get vertical stabilizers, toolbox and consumable delivery system. For provisions, you get black tea, tea and pudding and improved fuel. For consumables, get an automatic fire extinguisher, a multi-purpose restoration pack and a repair kit. You load mostly AP, then APCR, and AG. After that, do other shitty ridiculous stuff that sounds Australian. Since this is an Australian Centurion, you have to know that Australians, through thick and thin, always hold their ground, no matter whatever the hell the enemy throws at them. But since this is a fucking game, you have to relocate. If your teammates are too dumb to support you, you often have to play support and go hell down. Because the koalas and wallabies in your tank cannot get hurt. 
the Centurion 5 slash 1 is a tank that can do anything. But mostly, you play the Centurion like a support tank. You push with teammates on one flank and try to troll enemy shots like hell with your ridiculous turret. You don't have the alpha unlike other tier 8 mediums. But this is okay, because you reload faster than most tanks of its tier anyway. You have the best DPM for a tier 8 medium. It is also accurate as fuck. But you don't sit in the back and farm damage like a scrub. You have to push forwards with your team and put pressure. As long as you're on hell down, you are essentially unpenable. Unless Dumbus has become a gold slinging bastard. You also take advantage of your DPM and fast reload time to activate your feet smelling skills to perma track shit lords and make them cry every time. You also have 10 degrees of gun depression, which makes you sexually flexible on ridges. You don't rush be in charge on the enemy. The tank is as big as the size of Australia itself. Which means it will be hard to hide your tank. Which also means that you are fucking screwed if you push like a scrub. And if you get face hugged by a tank that has lolly height, you are literally screwed, even with 10 degrees of gun depression. If you want to rush be in charge like a dumb fuck, there are other tanks for that, you know. If you don't have any cover for your hull, you can always do the unicum tactic of using your crappy dumbest teammates as meat shields and be damage greedy. If you feel lucky, you go in and commit Vegemite Brutality. To improve your Vegemite eating skills, drive a medium tank and focus on smooth ride, smooth turret traverse. Then get firefighting, repairs and close combat master when driving a heavy tank. Next, get camo, smooth turn and clutch braking when driving a TD. And last, train soft recoil while driving a light tank. After that, do whatever shit that you want to fucking do. And that is how you play the Centurion 5 slash 1 to embody and make all Australians proud. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below on how you think of the Centurion 5 slash 1. Click the link on the screen to watch other ridiculous Unicom guides.